very good evening uh, chandra and akam uh, how are you fine uh, very good evening so actually we have completed that fundamental unit of the life yes sir no? yes sir once we will uh, discuss about that uh, uh, overall chapter uh, today we will discuss uh, a bit wise okay shall we go yes sir okay so welcome back to option online classes iit and neat foundation myself i am john sir biology teacher today we will discuss so today we will discuss about that the fundamental unit of life what is that fundamental unit of life so here my question is all the living organisms are made up of dash no 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 all the living organisms are made up of cells all the living organisms are made up of cells okay here next my question cell was discovered by whom very good robert hook robert hook which year na 1665 very good so next question okay cell derived from the which language latin latin language in the latin cell means what Little room, okay. Our cavity, our little room. Very good. Okay. Next, primitive microscope was discovered by who? Primitive my primitive microscope was discovered by who? Very good. Very good. Anthony Van. Live, live, hook. Anthony Van Live hook was discovered by the pre primitive microscope. Okay. Next, here my question is. Okay. Next, who given the word cytoplasm? Who given the word cytoplasm? Cytoplasm was name given by who? Parkinji. This Parkinji scientist given to the tap. If you see the cell, okay. If you see the cell. semi solid homogeneous material is present this semi solid homogeneous material that is nothing but cytoplasm this cytoplasm name given by whom cytoplasm name given by whom parkan ji next next my question is who discovered the nucleus nucleus Who discovered the nucleus? Robert Brown. Robert Brown. Robert Brown is discovered the nucleus. Which year? Which year? Eighteen thirty-one. Eighteen thirty-one. Next, the fundamental unit of life is dash. the fun cell the structural functional unit of the living organism is dash the basic unit of the life is called dash okay the neck the building blocks of the life is dash okay very good who discovered the cell theory cell theory discovered by whom matthias Jacob 
slide in. Okay, Matthias Jacob slide in and Theodor Swan. Theodor Swan and Rudolf Virchow. Rudolf Virchow. So these are the three scientists. These are the three scientists given to that cell theory. According to the cell theory discovered by the Matthias, Matthias Jacob Sliden and Theodore Swan only these are the two scientists given the first time cell theory. According to that, okay, all the living organisms are made up of cell. All the organisms are made up of cell. Cell is the structural and functional unit of the organism. Cell is the basic unit of the organism. Cell is the fundamental unit of the organism. All that organisms are made up of cell. Only Rudolf Virchow given to the other statement. What is that statement? All the living organisms are made up of pre-existing of the cells. Pre-existing of the cells. Pre-existing of the cells. This is also joined the cell theory. Okay. So, you know, uh, my point is, nucleus was discovered by the Robert Brown, 1831. Cell was given by the Matthias Jacob Sladen and uh, Theodore Swan and Rudolf Fischow. Okay? Are you okay? Yes, sir. Next, now coming to the point. Okay, what is the meaning of the unicellular organism? What is the meaning of the unicellular organism? Very good, excellent. Which file number it belongs to the unicellular organism? Which file Protozoa phylum. In the protozoa phylum, you know very well. Amoeba, Eugenia, Paramecium, Endamoeba, Histolytica. These are all the organisms is the examples of the unicellular organism. What is the meaning of the multicellular organisms? Multicellular organisms means what? Multicellular organisms made up of more than the two cells is called multicellular organism. What is the examples of the multicellular organisms? Plants and animals and human beings. You are multicellular or unicellular? You are the multicellular or unicellular? Tell me. Multicellular, sir. Okay. I am? Multicellular, sir. Okay, very good. So, some of the exceptional cases, for example, fungi is the multicellular or unicellular? Multicellular. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. Fungi is the multicellular. But in that, except to the yeast, yeast is the unicellular. So, algae is the unicellular or multicellular? Algae is the unicellular or multicellular? Algae also belongs to the multicellular organisms. But Clamidomonas. Chlamydomonas. This Chlamydomonas is the Chlamydomonas is the unicellular organisms. That is also keep in your mind. But almost all the fungi and algae belongs to the multicellular organism. Exceptional cases in the fungi yeast is the unicellular organism. In the algae is the Chlamydomonas is the unicellular organism. Okay. Yes, Next time I coming to the point, what is the smallest organ, smallest cell? My next question is, today total I am a tender of the uh, questions. So, any problem, anybody? Yes, so, I am a, a, asking to the all the questions only. Yes, okay, what is the smallest cell? Yes, 
Fracting acid is the smallest cell. Or PPLO is the smallest cell. Mycoplasma is the smallest cell. What is the largest cell? Very good, excellent. Ostrich egg cell is the largest cell. In our human body, what is the largest cell? Nerve cell. cell is the largest, longest cell. What is the longest sense organ in our body? Longest sense organ. It's a Very good. What is the largest gland in our body? Sebaceous is not the longest, uh, sorry, what is the largest gland is the liver is the largest gland. Liver is the largest gland. What is the mixed gland in our body? Mixed gland. Mixed gland. Half of the gland is the endocrine gland, half of the gland is the exocrine gland. What is the mixed gland in our body? Pancreas is the mixed gland. Okay. Next, next coming to the point. In the plant cell, in the plant cell, what is the outermost layer? Ayyayu, cell wall re. What is the outermost layer of the plant cell? Cell wall. Cell wall is made up of what? Wow, cytoplasm is wrong answer. Cellulose is the right answer. Cellulose is the right answer. Okay, in the animal cell, what is the outermost layer? Cell membrane or cell membrane, another name what? Very good. Cell membrane, another name is the plasma membrane. Cell membrane. Very good. Okay, these are the cell membrane and plasma membranes made up of what? Very good, excellent. Proteins and proteins and lipids. Okay, next. Here, what is the meaning of the diffusion? Can you tell me the diffusion? Movement of the molecule that will move to the higher concentration level, lower concentration level to the higher concentration level. Can you say the example of the diffusion mechanism in your day to day life? Shampoo. 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 Fragment. Generally, if you are a day to day life, you. Ah, uh, correct only. These are all. So, for example, if you are spread or sent. Okay. That is also common. In stick, uh, that is also example. If you are adding to the salt in the water, that is also. If you are adding to the blue, okay. Uh, that is also. These are all. Uh, next. My question is. My question is, selectively permeable membrane means what? Cell membrane. Cell membrane is the selectively permeable membrane which are the things are required to the cell. That is allowed through the cell membrane or plasma membrane. So that's why cell membrane or plasma membrane is called selectively permeable membrane. So next, here my another question, here, so what is the meaning of the hypotonic solution, isotonic solution and hypertonic solution? Yes, correct only. Isotonic solution means? Same, there is no moment. We cannot expect. Hypertonic solution means what? Hypertonic solution means the water is more Very concentrated solution. Okay. So, 
So that means uh, these are the movement of the molecule, water they can move in the cell, osmosis process. Which process? Osmosis process. Osmosis process means, me, uh, here one point you are keeping in mind, movement of the molecule they can move to that, uh, okay, lower concentration level to the higher concentration level through the semi-permeable membrane is called osmosis. So, plants are absorbing to the water is that osmosis. Plants are absorbing to the minerals also. Osmosis process. So, these are the examples. Okay. Next. Next to my question. Which of the organelle is giving to the, in the plants? I am asking to the plant. Which of the cell organelle, which of that uh, cell organelle giving to that uh, shape of the cell, size of the cell, structure of the cell, function of the cell. Cell wall, cell wall, cell wall. So, so this is the next to my question is, for example, this is the plant cell. Plant cell outermost layer wall, cell wall. Inside that, after the cell wall, you can see here semi-solid homogeneous material is present. That homogeneous material is called what? Huh? Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, you know very well, okay? In the cytoplasm, you know very well, so, in that middle, round ball-like structure is present. Remaining all the organelles are present. In that uh, animal cell, you can see that outermost layer is called cell membrane or plasma membrane. So, in this also, semi-solid homogeneous material is present. That is also called cytoplasm. Inside that around ball-like structure is called nucleus. Now we can discuss about the different organelles in that uh, plants and animals. Nice. Now first point is first point is you can uh, nucleus. What is that? Nucleus. Nucleus was discovered by who? Robert Brown in 1831. Robert Brown is discovered the nucleus 1831. Okay, in the nucleus, how many parts are present? What are the parts of the nucleus? First one is the nucleus membrane. Nucleus membrane. Second one is the nucleus. Nucleoplasm. Third one is the chromatin. Chromatin. Fourth one is the nucleolus. Nucleolus. Here, my point is according to the nucleus, again organisms are classified into two types. One is the eukaryotic organism and prokaryotic organism. What is the meaning of the eukaryotic organism? So, actually, which of the organisms, uh, they have the nucleus and nucleus membranes present, that is called the eukaryotic organism. What is that? Eukaryotic organism. So, in that eukaryotic organism, most of the organisms may have present that nucleus and nucleus membrane is present. What is the examples of the eukaryotic organism? Very good, excellent plants, animals and human beings is the examples of the eukaryotic organism. Eukaryotic organism is the very advanced organisms. Next, prokaryotic organism. What is the meaning of the prokaryotic organism? Nucleus is absent and nucleus membrane also absent. 
Chandana, you are not giving to the responding any problem. Madam Chandana, Madam, please give the response. So, you prokaryotic organisms means that nucleus and nucleus membrane is present. Absent that is called a prokaryotic organism. What is the examples of the prokaryotic organisms? Very good, bacteria and blue green algae, blue green algae, okay, so these are the examples. So, prokaryotic organisms are the very primitive organisms, okay, so eukaryotic organism is the very advanced organism. Prokaryotic organism, nucleus and nucleus membrane is absent. Example, bacteria, blue green algae. Eukaryotic organism, nucleus and nucleus membrane is present. Examples of the eukaryotic organism is the plant cell, animal cell and human being. Now, what is the function of the nucleus? Function of the nucleus. Very good, excellent. Nucleus is controlled by all the cell organelles, so that's why nucleus is called cell brain. What is the which of the organelle is known as the cell brain? Nucleus. Nucleus. Next, so another important point, especially that nucleus is play role important in that, especially for the heredity. The characters are transferred to the parent to the progeny through the nucleus only. Why? Because the characters are transferred to the parent to the progeny through the heredity. So chromosomes are transferred to the parent to the progeny through the nucleus only. Okay. So this is about the nucleus. Any doubt about the nucleus? No, sir. Next, what is the meaning of the DNA? What is the meaning of RNA? DNA means deoxy, deoxy, ribo, ribo, nucleic, nucleic acid, deoxy ribo nucleic acid. What is the RNA? Ribo, ribo, nucleic, nucleic acid. Okay, DNA is the genetic material of the animals. Most of the animals that genetic material is the DNA. Okay, generally you can see some of the, uh, especially you can see some of the test books. the structure generally you are seeing. DNA is what Gen genetic material that is present in the especially for that animals. RNA is the genetic material that is present in that uh, okay plants. Are you clear? Yes, Next now coming to the point endoplasmic reticulum. Do you know endoplasmic reticulum? Yes, generally we can see ER. Endo, endo, plasmic, reticulum. Okay, endoplasm reticulum. What it is called shortly? ER. How many ERs are present? Two. Two. What are they? ER. Rough. That means R E R. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. Second one, what a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. What is the meaning of rough endoplasmic reticulum? What is the meaning of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum? I am not asking to the functions, right? 
which of that uh, generally you can see that granules are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum that is called rough endoplasmic reticulum granules are absent that is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum synthesis of the proteins way smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesis of the fats or lipids fats or lipids so already you know very well so actually the transportation transportation so actually occur through the endoplasmic reticulum you know very well okay so cell membrane and uh, cell membrane or plasma membranes are made up of proteins and lipids these are the proteins and lipids are manufactured in the endoplasmic reticulum are you clear and here one more point you can learn okay so membrane biogenesis what is the meaning of the membrane biogenesis synthesis of that lipids especially participate in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay endoplasmic reticulum is the double membrane structure endoplasmic reticulum present in the all the eukaryotic organism endoplasmic reticulum helped in the transportation endoplasmic reticulum two types of the endoplasmic reticulum are present one is the rough endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum attached to the ribosomes or granules smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay does not touch to the granules and ribosome rough endoplasmic reticulum synthesis of the protein self manufactures of the protein and smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesis of the lipid these are the proteins and lipid synthesis is called membrane of the biogenesis membrane of the biogenesis smooth endoplasmic reticulum participate very active are you understand the endoplasmic reticulum yes sir next so golgi operators in that golgi operators actually this is also double membrane who discover the golgi operators camello golgi which year re there is no year 1859 ah just just a minute camello golgi discovered that uh, golgi operator okay leave it 1898 1898 okay next so golgi which of the organelles are known as the post office of the cell which of the cell organelle is known as the post office of the cell golgi operator golgi operator what is the function of that golgi operators to bacteria substances which are coming from scr or scr and rr are transport them to other places yes yes so golgi operators discovered by the camello golgi this camello golgi this is a this uh, golgi operators also known as the post office of the cell actually these are the endoplasmic synthesis of that endoplasmic reticulum occur through the golgi operators only this golgi operators transportation purpose the main use so that's why this is called post office of the cell okay every eukaryotic organism generally golgi operators is present okay next lysosomes what is that lysosomes what is the meaning lysosomes uh, uh, actually every cell organelle is the double membrane but lysosomes is the All, for example mitochondria you can see that mitochondria double membrane you can see the chloroplast 
double membrane nucleus double membrane but uh, lysosomes is the very good single membrane structure single membrane structure what is the another name of the lysosomes suicidal bags of the cell why it is called suicidal bags of the cell because it dies Why it is called suicidal bags of the cell? The materials which are not required for the cell are transported to the lysosomes and they digest. So actually digest enzymes are present in the lysosomes. In that digest enzymes, any poisonous substances are present in that they can collect and they can digest itself in the lysosomes. Okay. So that's why these are the lysosomes, are also known as the suicidal bags of the cells. What it is called? Suicide bags of the cell. Suicide bags of the cell. So lysosomes is known as the single membrane structure. Okay, lysosomes only also known as the suicidal bags of the cell okay lysosomes have the digestive enzymes are present these are the digestive enzymes if any poisonous substances they can collect and they can digest itself so that's why these are called okay suicidal bags of the cells this lysosomes also present in the eukaryotic cell are you understand? Chandana Priya, very good evening. How are you? Chandana Priya. My voice is audible to you. Akamsh. Akamsh ji. Next one is the mitochondria. Mitochondria. So mitochondria is the double membrane or single membrane? Double membrane. Mitochondria is the double membrane. Mitochondria we can see the all the eukaryotic organism. Mitochondria is the also known as the power houses of the cell. Power, power houses of the cells. Why the power houses of the cell? Because Okay. It produces the energy to the cell. Very good, excellent. Actually, respiration. What is the respiratory respiratory organ in the plant? Mitochondria. Mitochondria we can see with the help of the electron microscope. Mitochondria discovered by the Kulikar, Bioplast name given by the Tartman, Benda name the given to the name to the mitochondria. Mitochondria kinetic uh, potential energy converted into the kinetic energy. That energy stored in the form of ATP. ATP full form is the adenogen triphosphate. ATP also known as the energy currency of the cell. That respiration occurs in the plant in the mitochondria. In the respiration also three steps are present. One is the glycolysis. Second one is the Krebs cycle. Third one is the electron transport system. Glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. Krebs cycle is occurs in the matrix of the mitochondria. And electron transport occurs in the cristae of the mitochondria. Any doubts? Okay, respiratory organ in the plant is the mitochondria. Power, another name of the mitochondria, power houses of the cell. Okay, that uh, actually in that uh, mitochondria we can see the uh, double membrane or single membrane? Double membrane. 
mitochondria we can see with the help of the electron microscope only all the eukaryotic organism mitochondria are present okay that energy is stored in the form of atp atp full form is the adenosine triphosphate atp also known as the energy currency of the cell energy currency of the cell next so this is a, especially in that a plant cell that dna is present in the nucleus dna is present in the mitochondria dna is present in that uh, chloroplast so that's why mitochondria they can synthesize another mitochondria chloroplast they can synthesize another chloroplast nucleus they can synthesize another nucleus so mitochondria any doubts mitochondria any doubts amma next plastids the characteristic features of the plants is the cell wall is present in the plant cell okay plastids are present in the plant cell vacuoles are present in the plant cell these are the characteristic features of the plants yes How many types of the plastids are present? Three types. Sir. What are they? Chloroplast, chloroplast, leucoplast. Very good, excellent answer. First one is the leucoplast. Second one is the chromoplast. Third one is the chloroplast. So leucoplast, leucoplast. Which of that cell organelles not exposed to the sunlight? in that particular area that uh, leucoplasts are present you can see that uh, turnip okay potato they are white in color because of that uh, leucoplast and chromoplast where is the chromoplast is present you know very well tomatoes you know very well uh, okay chillies actually when they are born which in color green green in color tomatoes and chillies and after when they are ripening which in color red why because sir why because they can turn into that color chromoplast because of the chromoplast why the leaves what is the size of the photosynthesis chloroplast why the leaves are green in color because of chlorophyll chlorophyll pigment is present chlorophyll pigment absorb the sunlight and they can synthesize their own food okay chloroplast also double membrane structure okay especially in that uh, photosynthesis uh, sites of the photosynthesis is the chloroplast in that uh, chloroplast uh, actually photosynthesis is a uh, plast is only present in that plants only next least but not last vacuoles vacuoles only present in the plant cell animal cells vacuoles are absent most of the unicellular organisms are present in that vacuoles that waste material they can send outside of that body through that uh, okay vacuoles okay tonoplast means what right what is the outer membrane of that vacuoles is called tonoplast membrane of the vacuoles membranes of the vacuoles okay called tonoplast okay last chop last point is cell division okay why because more 2 minutes is there we will discuss in the detail manner in the cell division next class any doubts you can ask me okay if you have the any doubt regarding in your chapter in your syllabus especially for the biology this last 2 minutes okay uh, your time actually we can allotted a 5 minutes so whatever it may be you can ask any doubts regarding biology 
Tell me how is today's session? It is good or bad. You can give the feedback. Then we are coming. To, we are coming to the energetic. If you are not giving to, the, uh? nice, enjoyable, interesting. Ah, okay, okay. So every day we can enjoy every day. Next session we will discuss about the cell division and then we will go to that plant tissues. Okay. Okay. Ah, next now your time. You have any doubt regarding biology? Please ask. No doubt. Shall I close the session? Okay. Okay. So thank you. Thank you one and all. Have a nice day. You can prepare well for the examination. Get that knowledge. Okay. Gain the knowledge. Okay. So all the best. Bright your future. Thank you. Have a nice day.